Good morning. Um, I got the Garmin over yonder pinging right now. I'm going to probably be two or three dots in the morning. I changed the interval settings as well as the log settings. So it's quicker dots, not as spaced out. And we are just... Oh. You started to start filming right when I was changing, huh? I was about to pan over to Magpie, but she is switching from leggings to pants. So I still cannot pan. So instead, enjoy the ambiance of the fire pit. Um, yeah, it's about 640-ish. That's the sun. I know it's a big glare on your screen. But that yonder's the sun. Um, we watched a nice sunrise this morning. Got up at like 5.50-ish. Got to use the privy. And um, kind of slow start going through camp this morning. Ain't got a worry in the world. We got 10 miles of trail and then mostly road walk. So, yeah. Enjoy the ambiance of the fire pit until I can. Pan, 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 pan. She's got pants. I got pants. And yeah, this was our shelter. This was our home. It was nice. It was pleasant. Anything to say, Magpie? Yeah. No, she oh, touched. I brought the whole socks up by accident already. <laughs> she brought the holy socks by accident already. So, yeah. Start of the second day. Yesterday, about a 19er. Today, to get to Middlebury, it's going to probably have to be a 30er. There's this woman that has like a spot you can walk to that you can tent in her yard. Yeah, outside of Middlebury, so we're going to either see if we can do that, or if Middlebury has a Modi Hody, we'll do that. But we'll let the day unfold as it unfolds. We should be able to get these 10 miles of trail in by 11 to noonish, um, about five hours of hiking. It's, some, it's two good steep ups in there with some good bouncies along the way, so probably a two-mile-per-hour pace. So we get to the road by noon, then we got 20-ish miles, not exact, we'll see. Um, to Middlebury so full day of hiking but it was a pleasant shelter not as cold this morning not nearly as much snow yeah it was a nice yeah the magpie sore I feel it sore. I feel it in the legs too that was some, some ibuprofen. I'll be fine. yeah so we're gonna just keep on cruising all right day two I will do another um, Scoutmaster log. Oh, so these videos, I'm always going to do the videos on YouTube, um, the daily videos for the NCT. But what I also wanted to do on this trail that I've wanted to do on a lot of trails, but I always forget. I'm going to really lock down on it this time. I did a video yesterday. Um, I'm going to call him the Scoutmaster log from a movie that Magpie. Moonrise Kingdom. From a movie. Moonrise Kingdom. <laughs> Yeah, we watched Moonrise Kingdom, a Wes Anderson film in a quarantine, and that Scoutmaster was hilarious. So what I, what I was talking about is I'm always going to do the videos on YouTube, um, show you the day, show you the clips of when I'm walking, not talking, um, just the full videos. But I want to do over on our Patreon page a little for the people that really love following us along and want to kind of support us that way. I'm going to do a little five to ten minute clips per day. Of once we get to camp and kind of decompress and kind of do an overview of the day um because you'll see them on these videos but an overview of kind of some backstory of like what we were feeling in those moments um how we woke up like the mentality around it and you can see those in these videos but not as in depth as i want to touch on and you guys might want to see so that'll be over on our patreon page and it'll be like a daily log of when we get to camp and the emotions, the sights we saw, kind of distilled down into what we uh, saw and felt. So cool, cool. That's that. I'm pinging. Let's see how many pings I got. I got two pings. Send interval four hours. What? No. Send interval 10 minutes. It's probably doing that because we can't, we're not moving right now. What? Don't like that. All right, well, once we get moving, that'll probably fix itself. Lego. We just must be constantly in ski areas in Vermont. Yeah, pretty much. Am I your sunrise bowl? 
<laughs> Too early for diddles. <laughs> sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> so awake. That sounded like so awake. Why are you so awake? That's not inaccurate. Uh huh. Hello. Good morning. Sh sunrise bowl. My eyebrows, my eyeballs are leaking because my contacts are all askew. Oh, that was a good zoom. Yeah. That was a oh, good camera zoom. full of face. Good. Face camera. How would y'all like if I just filmed close-ups of the face and no trail for the rest of the trail? You think that's what they want to see? Doubt it. Doubt it? I could do a couple faces. I've been known to do some faces. You have been known to make some faces, that's true. Uh-huh. Yep. All right, I'm giving you all what you asked for. Just close-ups of faces. Don't worry, I did some faces. Okay, okay. I'm not worried. Thought you were worried. Nope. Great cliff. I think they're only okay cliffs. They're okay. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. And Mount Horrid. Well. Oh, that does not bode well. I don't like that. No, um, let's go climb it though. The cliffs are great. The mountain horrid. Let's go climb it though. All right, let's go find out. So you can shred some pow pow. It's Brandon nice, Gap. Actually. Yeah. Many pals. And there's also, oh, sunrise shelter. That's where we are. Right yonder. We go up to Mount Horrid. Up, 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 up we go. That is Brandon Gap. Um, I guess I can, you can come with me the entire time. I don't know why necessarily you would want to, but we can go to Brandon Gap together. Let's go to Brandon Gap together. You want to go to Brandon Gap together? You're both going that way again. <laughs> Remember the times... What was it? It was like the some of the days on the PNT when you're a little frustrated at your line. You'll be like, "Why are you following me? Like, We're, going We're going the same way." Yeah. <laughs> mean, so, so mean, so, so mean, so rude. Uh -huh. All right, Brandon Gat. All right, we are going up the Great Cliffs, but there's a lot of signage around here at the trailhead and whatnot. Um, there's a blue blaze that brings you to those cliffs, but it is a falcon nesting habitat until August. So you're not allowed to go out there. So we'll just continue on the long trail. Um, it's a side trail, like I was saying, if you wanted to go to the cliffs when they are open, but I believe it's March through August. It's closed for falcon nesting. What are you doing? Filming to let them know that the wind is cutting through my nipples. Yeah. It is quite windy, folks. Quite windy. We are climbing up Mount Horrid. And I got a Balcava on, as well as my nipples are hard. You're welcome again. All right, this is where that trail I was telling you all about, it is you cannot go up. So it's only point one. It's probably an epic view, but it looks like. yeah, you can see the cliffs from the switchbacks down on the last mountain, but you can't go there now because birds are, tr yeah, birds are trying to mate folks. Don't, don't disrupt their mating rituals and then feeding their babies. So we're getting pretty close to the top, um, two thirds of the way there, if not more. 
we were just talking about for an out east climb it's pretty well graded so the nct if you look at the map of the long trail the nct actually luckily or unluckily enough depending how you look at it puts you on what i can perceive as the easiest part of the long trail which is still not easy in any regard but comparatively to much of the elevation profile of the rest of the long trail so yeah it's pretty nice um lucky or unlucky depending how you look at it lucky if you want to just cruise unlucky if you want to test that mentality against a rock face every day bang 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 um so yeah we got about nine miles until the road not a little less um again we're gonna have to do some tweaking of the schedule uh, Middlebury. So how the route works is after you get out of the long trail, you got a pretty good stretch from the road walk at Middlebury Gap to Crown Point, which is in New York. And there is a campground, but it is closed right now. So that was our original goal for today. Um, instead, we will either walk into the town of Middlebury and get a hody modi or there's this woman called Lucy that lives along the road walk pretty much outside the town of Ripton. So we might walk to her spot um, and then it would still be able to link us up okay-ish tomorrow with getting into New York and being able to get to a camp spot off a road. So we got some options. That's the biggest thing on through hikes, um, especially through hikes of the lesser known trails. You gotta be flexible each day. On a known trail, like the long trail, or the AT, you have to be flexible in a sense of, hey, there are different miles, might not get how as far as you want. But the flexibility I'm talking about is, with these lesser known trails, you get cut off. So there's a lot more road, a lot more private land. So the flexibility is in the sense of, you can't go further unless you wanna do an absurd pace or you get contingent on where you're allowed to camp a lot of the long trail a lot of the at a lot of the pct a lot of the cdt um you can just hike until you're tired and more likely than not you'll find a camp spot in the next 10 to 30 minutes but yeah these lesser known trails you can't do that you have to be very conscious of what's in front of you and what's going to happen so that's kind of my spiel we're gonna continue hiking. I'm gonna continue breathing heavy in the camera so you can hear me pant like a puppy, like a ferocious puppy climbing a mountain. Ferocious lion, ferocious, ferocious dog. I don't know, but we're continuing. Can't stop the film. First summit, fall summit, no view. Typical. Well, there's a view in front of me of a beauty. Always a good view when you hike behind the magpie. She's very cute. Always a good view when you hike in front of the magpie and turn around and look at the magpie. Many good views. Is that true? I wasn't. Okay. You brought it there. I wasn't saying that. But, okay. Uh huh. And snowy. I'm glad there's a, some good tree cover here. It would be so cold and windy if not. Oh, would not have been nice. Yeah. Get little snip snippets of viewage. That is cold. Woo. We are close to the top, if not at the top, of the climb out of Brandon. Um, probably actually this little bump. Well, 
What is this mountain called? Mount Horrid? All right, we're at the tip top nip knot of another climb. Clouds are getting a little dense, a little scurry. Um, good amount of blowdowns through here. Let me navigate this one. Fresh blowdowns and um, sent out a message. It's about nine o'clock, a little after. After, oh, look at this ice. That does, crunchy. So, Sent out a message to Lucy, who is either slash trail angel slash, I don't think it's a full hostel, but kind she, she kind of lets you camp in her backyard. Um, it's an icon on the map system for the LT. So reached out to her and got a response back. She's not offering showers at this time. Eh, we're only two days on trail, but she will let us camp in her yard, which Helps out these, the Middlebury Hody Modis were actually like 200 bucks a pop um, for tonight, which, uh-uh. Yeah. And yeah, usually when you spend, yeah, and usually when you spend money on a Modi Hody on a hike, you try to do it so you got all day there, you like actually get your money's worth, but even 60 bucks on a motel would kind of be throwing it away because we would just be crashing. So we're gonna probably hike Lucy's right off um, Vermont 125, which is a North Country road walk into Middlebury. So we'll probably walk to her house. Um, the GPX track is gonna end on the NCT route. So I'm not gonna continue routing to her house. I'm just gonna end it where we are ending the official miles for the day. So we'll either walk. The house is like really not far though. It's like right off trail. Yeah, it's right outside the town of Ripton. So um, it's like halfway of our road walk to Middlebury. So depending on how fast we're going, we'll either walk all the way into Middlebury and have her pick us up there, or we'll just walk to her house and call it a day there. Either way, it sets us up good for the next day. And yeah, and we are gonna go into Middlebury today. She would give us a ride, she said. We don't walk into it. To go to Shaw's and get some cookies because for some reason Magpie always tells me to pack out food I don't eat. She always tells me, Oh, that food's gonna do good, like the spam single that you gotta carry the entire time. It's definitely her suggestions. No, feels like some weather's moving in. So, yeah, we're gonna continue cruising. There you go. Send them out there. No. Tell them to send it. I'm discussing it. PCT. Because the maps, no matter what, they're terrible as of right now. Yeah. I mean, like, you have to do a lot of dead reckoning to actually figure out where you are and a lot of it's guessing and then figuring out you're in the right place we're out of the roots and rocks and stuff for a little bit and we got this pretty 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 did i say pretty pretty views um my favorite time to hike in the northeast or even in the appalachias is kind of quote unquote Oh, shout out Iron Triangle for the phrase stick season. Um, not my favorite with being cold, but like if this was all 
foliaged in, you wouldn't be able to see even a glimpses of some of these views. So I love stick season in the Appalachians. It's just, you gotta put up with some frozen weather to get it. It really shows you everything's a give and a take on a trail. You get some awesome stuff if you put up with some suffering in one way. And then in the summer, you get some awesome stuff if you're putting up with suffering in a diff different way. Always something. And Magpie's just leaving me in the dust. She's too fast, folks. She's too fast. She's actually been crushing these downs. That's really cool. Look how the top of the tree fell off. So it, I'm assuming it's that one where the right trekking pole is pointing. And it just... <laughs> yeah, sound effects included. Always included. Um, and it's just like cratered into the ground very cool all right not going too fast today um i think it's a little before 10 and we still have i don't know four or five miles until middlebury gap we haven't passed the shelter yet it's on this little downhill so yeah yeah we're not going terribly fast but no worries so Got about five to the road. Then we got about, yeah, I don't know, 10, 11, 12. Don't know. Um, I think it's close to 10 of road walking to the town of Ripton area where Lucy is. And we're gonna see what time we get there. If we get there a little later, we'll just stop there for the night. If not, we'll try to push into Middlebury and have Lucy pick us up there. I'm assuming with the pace we're doing right now, We'll just end up walking to her spot, not walking into Middlebury. Um, we're not going terribly fast. So, yeah, that's the gist of it. Beautiful day again. It's a nice change up. It was really pleasant in that snow yesterday, but it was also brutally cold. Um, so, it's a different type of beauty today. Always different types of beauties along the trail. Water stop. I don't know if it's necessarily a spring, but it's getting filtered directly out of the ground right there. So no filter, no problem. Um, again, folks, I would recommend filtering stuff a lot of the time. The only reason I do not is I pick my sources very carefully. And even then it's still not terribly advised. But when I say no filter, no problem, and when I go no filter, no problem, most of the time I'm not drinking straight out of creeks. Um, I'm looking for either fresh melt or something that the ground is filtering really close by to the so place that I am filling up. Again, not the smartest. Um, it's really what makes you feel comfortable and what makes you feel safe on a hike. Um, been doing this for a long time and my comfort level for that has increased, which is, again, not necessarily a good thing, but it's where I'm at, and y'all have to do what makes you comfortable as well. For anybody that's beginning through hiking, long distance hiking, whatever it may be, backpacking, I would heavily recommend, though, to start off filtering. Um, you don't want that to be one of your first experiences, getting some type of waterborne illness. That would be no fun. So this is the side trail to Sucker Brook. Um, we are not going down there. Instead, we are going up. Sucker Brook was where we had planned on getting to last night, but plans change. And now we're doing the climb out and out. And I'm gonna get to the top of the staircase, get out of the wet a little bit, and then change out of my thermal bottoms and into uh, shorts. Uh, I can't stand hiking in pants or anything that covers the knees. Um, so short bounds, here we go. And this is gonna wear a robe. Should I film it for y'all? No, that's, that's too R-rated. <laughs> All right, time to change into shorts. So folks, we got one more climb before Middlebury Gap. Seems cruisy-ish so far. And the biggest part why I started this film is one, two, three, pa-pam, shorts. 
I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry, I knew you guys wanted to see the change sequence. Um, I didn't even look back for the change sequence. Nope. Rude. Um, but I know you guys were super interested, but I'm sorry. This channel's a uh, PG? PG-13. Or sometimes R. It has many ratings, but that was a little too much for y'all, so we climb. Oh, I love shorts. Sweet. This climb up has got some awesome scenery. So this type of tree, um, yesterday, I don't know how close up views I got, but like the leaves with the ice and the snow, it was like petrified leaves and it was really cool. But today the snow has melted and we're cruising about three miles from Middlebury Gap and our road walks begin. Um, so we're enjoying the last little bits of trail as we can gonna get there kind of as we assumed probably around noon and then we gotta walk towards the town of Ripton don't know the exact mileage but I'll pull that for y'all as well I'm assuming it's close to 10 maybe a little more maybe a little less don't know oh but we're gonna go grocery shopping later today two days on trail I did not pack out any good food, and we're looking forward to some good good. They're in the trees, man. They're in the trees. This is definitely the Keebler Elf Forest. Tip top hot flop. We are at the tippity toppity of the bippity boppity. It feels like it, yeah. Um, it sure does feel like it. So we now have about two and a half or to Brandon Gap. It's 11.06. So yeah, still gonna be getting in there right around noonish, um, depending how wet and slick and steep the down is. But, ooh, step on it. Okay, don't step on it. Um, so yeah, we're still cruising pretty good. Really overcast today. Not called for rain, but hoping it doesn't. A little nip -noppy. Um You wouldn't want to be hiking here without a thermal. I don't think this is common for May in Vermont. It feels cold, yeah. It feels cold. Days ago, I guess. It's that fresh, fresh, that good, good. Oh, you got oh, pants. You got pants. That, oh. This is why I like pants. Oh. No. Okay, I'm gonna stop filming and we're gonna cruise. We. Oh, cool, oh, I did a face plant in Maine off one of those slabs before. Oh, ow, that one hurt so bad. It was so fun. That's why your your lion's face is all messed up. You, did, you agreed with my face was all fucked up. No, what I was going to say was, yeah, I could see somebody lose a, a tooth on there. I'm glad your face turned out okay. But you didn't let me finish my sentence. Oh! It hurts me to my core, it was... I, You know what I'm trying to say, baby? Yes, I do. Yeah. Just saying my face is fucked up because that's just how it is. No, mm -hmm. I was trying to say your face wasn't fucked up, but you didn't let me finish my sentence. Thank you. <laughs> I hear you. It's just rock in a creek. I'm between a rock and a wet place. 
Oh yeah, the trail is usually the crick. No, you try to run down this, you slip and smack your face. <laughs> Everywhere we go, people want to know what's the gloomiest month. Mm -hmm. Ew, dirty snow. Yeah, like it's, it's kind of like dingy. Hmm. Uh, but you know that spring's coming. And the, it's getting brighter outside. And the days are getting warmer. And so even though it's kind of like not great outside, it's not very nice, you're still feeling like, oh, spring's here. Yeah, it's the feeling around it. Yeah, you're like, it's going to be nice too. You know what's coming. You know it's not more of dark. So we tell them, so we tell them, November, November. Are we the Titans? I so. The Mighty Mighty Titans? You might not know that. I don't know. Oh, do you not, have you never seen that movie? No. Oh, we got some talking to do. Okay. All right, so we found the snowball. Um, I wonder if it's going to put us down the double black diamond or the green. Oh, she's pretty. Where's the yeah, white? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's very pretty. This one's gonna be really steep, babe. Oh, I'm not taking that. I mean, this is the Vermont black diamond, so it's not that steep. You can see the road down there. She pretty. It wants us to take the cat trail, though. Then we take the cat trail. Yeah, it's gonna be the easiest way down. Yep. Oh, that was a good time shot. Magpie crossed. No. So that long trail, bringing you down into this road, she's steep. She's steep and wet and rocky. Um, well, again, if you're doing the long trail, that's most of the long trail. But yeah, watch your footfalls. No. We're about 0.6 from the road. Um, it drops you all the elevation in the first half mile, if not less. So you're gonna be going a little slower, even if it's if it's wet, which it will be. You're on the long trail. And all the stairs are rotting. Yeah, there's not even good stairs anymore. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. It's so slippery. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. Yep. Almost got me. All right, about half a mile to the road. Look at that sky. It is not, not the most inducing of confidence to say. It does not inspire a lot of confidence. But we're gonna get onto this road soon. Then we can just cruise. Yep, no rain in the forecast, but we're gonna rain on. Anyway. That's how the Northeast works. We are less than half a mile to the road, and um, from there we just walk towards Ripton and Middlebury. But it's already less than half a mile to the road now. You've been saying that for half an hour. Yeah, it has to be less than half a mile. Yep. All right, we are at Middlebury Gap and we are done the NCT portion of the long trail. 
Um, it started at mile 105 and some change. Um, and this is mile 135, so about 30 miles that you coincided with the long trail. Now we begin our road walk towards Middlebury, where we'll be getting about halfway towards there today and staying with Lucy. And then we're going to be getting a ride into Middlebury today to grocery shop, whatnot. But all we got is road walk, so road walking, check it and see. Got a fever of 103. It's 12, 18. Man, you're an hour and a half behind what we thought we'd do. Yeah. It was, it's, that was like tough ground. It's very technical. It's very technical when it's wet and snowy and blowdowns. So, blow it's just road now. Wet and rainy. All right, it's wet. It's very wet. Um, I did not, as you see, Magpie's in a rain jacket. I did not switch into my rain jacket. I'm still in my wind jacket, and I'm gonna pay for that mistake because I was really hoping this rain would pass over quickly. Doesn't look like it. Um, and wind jackets are not meant as rain jackets. They get saturated super quick, and I'm soaked. So luckily, we only got a few hours of this until we get uh, to where we're staying tonight. So it is what it is. I'll, I'll stay soaked for a few hours. It's not the cold danger soaked, it's just the eh, soaked. Hello, wet Constantine. How wet are you? Eh, I don't know. Six out of ten? Not too bad. All right, bye, wet Constantine. Continue the road. So it looks like an old schoolhouse in Ripton. Um, don't know how old, but pretty cool. Still raining, but hopefully there's some light at the end. You can see a little light down there. Ah, the rain's starting to peter off for us. Pretty nice. It's about one o'clock, but that sun shadow makes it look a little bit later because of the rain clouds. But we're cruising. About three or four miles into the road walk from Mid um, Middlebury Gap, there's a wayside. So if you are feeling like you want to break um, on a day that's not raining or on a day that's raining, feeling like you want to break um, on the road walk, there is one in about three or four miles from Middlebury Gap after you get off the long trail. So, little free library. Um, we are in the town of Ripton, which is, there's no services here. It's just a kind of town. It's, one second. All right, I'm back. So, we are in the town of Ripton. Um, no services, just kind of a town. And where this trail angel lives is, I think it's up the next turn, um, Lincoln Road area. And it's about two o'clock, right after two, it's 2.02. So we stood and debated for a little bit what we're gonna do um, because Middlebury's about 10 more miles and we may be able to have her pick us up there if we walk in, but I don't know. We might just end up walking there and calling it another short day. Yeah, I know, y'all folks thought we were gonna be crushing real quick, but 
Nah. The NCT is a special beast. One that you have to play with as it, as it goes. As I was talking about earlier today, sometimes you're contingent on the miles because of where you're allowed to camp. And we could push hard. Middlebury, there's some Mot Moti Hodes there, but they're super pricey. And Lucy sounds like a pretty nice lady. So we're gonna see. Um, it's, I think Magpie's passing the road right now. So once I catch up to her, um, we're gonna make a judgment call, but it's still very, very early in the day, like two o'clock. But we don't really have a lot of better options. So, oh wow, that's old. All right, I'll check back in with you in a sec. All right, so. I don't think I filmed right at the intersection, but we're walking up Lincoln Road right now. Um, and so I turned off the GPX tracker. I clicked stop. Um, I wanna check the maps to see where it actually stopped. Um, hopefully it stopped at the junction of Lincoln Road and Vermont 125, because that's the end of our official miles for the day. Um, we're walking up to a Trail Angels house because there's no camping. Um, continuing down the trail. We would be able to hit Middlebury in about 10 miles, but Hody Modis, they are like super expensive. And besides that, there's nowhere else to camp. So it's two o'clock, <laughs> 2.20. Calling it another super easy day. Once we get settled in, um, I'll probably grab some more film for y'all. But as of now, just walking on up to our house and yeah, gonna call the second day on the NCT. <laughs> so what we did is turned, as Magpie was describing it too, we turned one day into two days and it's because of the camping situation. That's okay. Um, the camping situation along the NCT is gonna be a reoccurring thing, but since we're still fresh on the trail, instead of pushing out 35 pluses to make those camping things link up, we instead we halved it so that's okay and we gotta let that be okay so i'll check in once we get to the house and yeah end of the second day pretty much there you go very happy huh <laughs> well folks we made it i'm gonna show you where we're camping um come with me this way hey pop oh Baby. Oh, what is it? Deer loft. A deer loft? Deer loft. We're gonna catch some deer? Deer. Aha. Isn't very nice? Very fancy. We keep our stuff out of our way. Oh, look how fancy you are. Hey folks. End of day two. Just got you some footage of the pup as well as the spot we're staying. And yeah, I told you I'd get it. Explained everything I explained. Might get you some footage of some cake here in a second when I climb in, and that's about it. She gave you a wave. She's off camera right now. You want to be on camera? I'm good. She said she's good, so I'll give you the wave. All right, day two. It's six o'clock. I'm in a tent, and I'm eating a four-layer cake. Four-flavor cake. Oh, second day on trail. How to get fat on a through hike. Lesson number 101.